So friends, let's start with this lovely Goan stuffed raw mango. Now here I've taken four small uh, kairis or raw mango. We need a lot of salt and I'm using a large bowl. Now first what we have to do is we have to cut the raw mango in this way. I'll show you not where the stem portion is but on the other smoother side you cut leaving just one inch at the bottom. Don't cut completely and then you make a cross sign like this and then just open it up and take out the seed. Now sometimes it's easy to remove the seed with your hand otherwise use a sharp knife or a spoon but you have to take out that small seed. You have to discard the seed. See if the mango doesn't break. So be extra, take your time with it. Don't be in a hurry. But try and get all the seed out. Otherwise your mango pickle will be very bitter. So sometimes it takes a lot of time. Because I'm, I have to be careful that I don't break the mango. And then you have to have this hollow like this. Sometimes it comes out very easily. Now you can make a large quantity if you want. But I'm just making it enough for us. Because I make different type of mango pickles as you've seen on my channel. I'll leave a link to all those recipes. I like to make different, different type of pickles. Rather than eating just one type of pickle. So see how easily this one came out. So you have to have this hollow like this. Now that I've done with all of that, what we have to do is stuff this, uh, these small little kairis with as much salt as you can. Now I'm using regular salt, but the actual way is to use the hard rock salt. So if you have that at hand, just use that. You know, the thick rock salt. I remember in my grandparents' house in Goa, they used to have a big barney kind of, you know, a clay kind of pot, white with a brown lid on top which many of you all have seen and that used to be full of that salt which they used to use a lot in the pickle season. So now that I've filled it up with salt completely, what we're going to do is we're going to put a heavy, uh, a kind of a, first you're going to put a plate, something that fits into your bowl like this and then just keep some kind of heavy object. You can keep your masala stone or you can keep, you know, I have this thing with the mortar and pestle which is very heavy. And you have to keep this for at least, you know, two to three days. Now, if, and what I'm going to do is I like to cover it with a cloth and tie it up and keep it in a nice dark place in my house. I mostly keep it, you know, in some corner of my kitchen where there is no sunlight or you can keep it in a cupboard. Now, I haven't opened this for two days. So after two days, you will see that there is so much of water already collected under the mangoes. Now what you have to do is, you will see that some of them have changed color completely and some have got a little bit of the light green color still. So very gently put the side which has the light green color into this salt uh, water. See the color? Because we want all of the mangoes to be of this uh, olive green color. So turn them. So every day just open it up every 24 hours and just check you know that the mangoes are in this salt water. That's very important. And again close it up, cover it and set it aside. Again put that heavy weight on it. Now if you're making a very large quantity like some people make it out of 20-25 mangoes you need to use a large tub and a very heavy kind of masala stone etc. So again I'm tying it up and keeping it aside. Now in the meantime I'm going to prepare my masala. So here I have two tablespoons of mustard seeds. I'm just going to roast this gently on a low to medium flame. We are going to dry roast the mustard seed. So now I am basically preparing my pickle powder at home. Now I have 2 teaspoons of cumin seeds or jeera. We are going to roast that too. Next goes in 1 4 teaspoon of methi seeds or fenugreek. 2 tablespoons of coriander seeds or dhania. 1 teaspoon of ajwain or ova.
टेन पेपरकॉर्न्स और मेरी टू टेबल स्पून ऑफ फेनल सीड्स और सौफ रोस्ट एवरीथिंग फॉर अ गुड हाफ अ मिनट टिल यू गेट द लवली अरोमा ऑफ ऑल दीज ब्यूटिफुल स्पाइसेस turn off the heat and let the mixture cool down to room temperature once that happens transfer it to your mixer jar ki the mixer jar is extremely dry i like to sun dry my mixer jar and my glass bottles whenever i'm making pickles so just keep them on your window sill or if you have a balcony keep them on your balcony or your terrace and now we're going to grind this to a very fine powder like this transfer this to a bowl because we have to add a little bit more to this to get all of that lovely powder and love just you know uh, the aroma of this powder is amazing with all those beautiful spices so now i'm going to add 2 teaspoons of turmeric powder or haldi powder 2 teaspoons of kashmiri red chili powder to get that beautiful red color and 1 teaspoon of regular red chili powder Now mix everything really well. You can use a whisk also, but see that all the masalas are nicely integrated, and a lovely masala is all ready. Now on day four, let's check on the mangoes or the kairis rather. Now look at the amount of water. It has so much of water already collected, and also the mango, the raw mangoes have changed completely to an olive green. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat some oil say about 5 to 6 tablespoons of oil to a smoking point and then I'm going to uh you know uh, put the flame off Now I'm going to use a colander like this and I'm going to uh, first of all I'm going to take out all the mangoes and I'm going to strain this water which you know the mangoes have released or the salt uh, has reacted and the water is released we are going to strain that we are going to use this for the pickle so now we have our masala powder ready we have the pickle water ready now this oil which is very hot i'm going to add about 2 tablespoons to this masala powder and we are going to mix it up it has to be a very thick pasty consistency And by the way, it was one fourth cup of oil, not five tablespoons. About one fourth cup of oil, heated to smoking point, and then let it cool completely. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to take the mangoes. We put them on a colander to remove all the water. So try and remove all the moisture from the mango. Squeeze the mango, just you know, and take out all the moisture. because mangoes have a longer shelf life if there's no if they don't come into contact with the, with water so now what we're going to do is we're just going to stuff these mangoes with and they've already softened up a lot just uh, stuff them with this lovely masala now if you don't want to make your own masala at home you can buy ready made ready made mango pickle masala it's easily available in stores especially during the summer season so just use that masala if you don't want to make your own masala but use the mango pickle one and stuff these little uh, you know uh, raw mangoes with as much masala as you like now you can make a masala ahead of time and keep it ready now this is my uh, glass bottle which i've sun dried for about 2 3 days now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add little bit of that hot or warm oil to the masala bowl I don't want to waste any of that masala, and I'm going to just mix it up well, and add it to the bottom of the glass uh, jar. Now pour that to the bottom of the glass jar, and also when you once the mango pickle is ready, always use a very dry spoon to you know take out the mangoes. Now I'm just going to place the mangoes into the jar. 
and now I'm going to pour all the remaining oil that was there. We're going to pour it into the bottle. And then remember the reserve water that we had saved and kept. We're going to add that too. And now you're going to, uh, you know, give the bottle a little bit of a shake and mix everything well, the water, the oil. And then you're going to press these mangoes down so that they are submerged in this liquid, the oil and water liquid. So press it down so that it does no part of the mango is above the oil. And then you're going to tie it up. You know, first you're going to close the lid, then use a large kerchief or a kitchen, large kitchen napkin. So see how I'm pressing it down, just showing it to you all again. So that it's completely under the oil and water mixture. This is salt water, of course, or the water that has been released by the mangoes or the raw mangoes. So now what I'm going to do is, I've taken a large kerchief and I'm just going to fold it a bit and cover this completely and then just tie it up really tight. And then you're going to store this again in some dark corner in your home, in your kitchen, in a pantry or in any dark place. There should be no sunlight falling on this thing. It has to be in a very dark place. And the longer you keep it, the better it is. Like I try to keep my mango pickle for at least minimum 10 to 15 days. But of course, every two days I open and I check it that it's okay, that there's no, you know, that the mangoes are not above the oil. So now I'm showing you how it will look on the eighth day. So you can see that they've all softened up. The masala is also nicely, you know, uh, it looks really tempting. But I'm going to wait for some more days to have this. With the pickles like this, you have to have a lot of patience. I do have, you know, instant pickle recipes and I will leave a link to all of those below. But like, I like to keep this in some dark place in my kitchen. And then you see how amazing they look. So like I said, the longer you keep it, the more softer the mango becomes. The masala integrates with everything really well. And it is so, so delicious. So how many of you do love to have mango pickle in the summer or in the monsoons or throughout the year? Leave your comments in the comment section below and I'll catch you soon. Hope you like today's recipe as well as today's video. And if you would like to see more videos like this, then don't forget to leave this video a big thumbs up. Also, by, by clicking the thumbs up icon. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and become a part of Akshita's recipes. Once you have subscribed, there is a small little bell icon that will pop up. So just click on that. That way, whenever I put up a new recipe or a new video, you get a message for the same. So on that note, I'll say bye and I'll catch you in my next video sooner than you think. This is Akshita saying bye, take care, stay healthy, stay fit, be kind and loving to one another. So till we meet again, bye.